Hi guys, Hasina here. I have a new uh, topic to talk about today. Um, this one, I don't even have really a title for it. I guess I would call it um, advice that you get and or suggestions that you get that absolutely make no sense to you until you put them in action. Um, so that's long, <laughs> that's long-winded. But it, I started thinking about it because it, there's a lot of reasons for that. But just a, a, a short example, you know, if you have a pet, a cat, for example, and maybe, you know, they're not acclimating to their environment well, um, they're acting out or, you know, they, they, it's just kind of a troublesome situation and you tell someone who has experience with pets and cats and you ask them what to do and they'll tell you, you know what, it might be better if you get another cat in addition to the one you have. And I know the first time I ever heard anything like that, it was like, what are you talking about? You are tripping. If I'm having trouble already, why would I add another pet, cat to that situation to add more trouble? Well, it's true. <laughs> um, just because, at least with regards to cats, that seems to be the case. You know, sometimes they just need a companion and all of a sudden your house is super calm and they're having fun, you're having fun, everybody's happy. And there's nowhere when I, like if I saw that on paper where that's going to make sense to me, where adding an additional pet makes sense to me. So <laughs> I think about that in other parts of my life, of our lives, where you hear something and it just doesn't make any sense for what you're looking to do and improve about yourself. And I was thinking to myself, like, why is that? Well, if there are things that you want wanted and you've never had them and you've never experienced them, you don't know what they feel like. And I had like I had to sit with that for a second and say, whoa, like Okay, so I want to feel free. I want to feel free. I want to feel free. And I don't know what freedom feels like. I know what everything else feels like. And though I desire that freedom, it's going to feel really odd and really different and really out of my comfort zone because I have no experience with that. You know, even in like relationships and friendships and everything, if you want someone, I want someone that really supports me and really loves me and really cares for me. And hopefully you're just like, wow, this feeling is amazing and that's dope when you receive it. You could also say, wait a minute, maybe this feels boring. Maybe this feels kind of uncomfortable. Maybe it even feels stifling because you're just so used to not feeling love. You know, you're so used to not feeling support. You're so used to not feeling care. I even like posted on Facebook today. I, I, I had saw, you know, you get to look at old memories. I had saw um, a memory where a friend of mine just wrote me something really, really nice. I'm really excited. And I responded accordingly. I was like, you know, hugs, kisses, thank you. But I know maybe for me, it wouldn't have felt that I had matched that vibration, that it was equally as excitable, it was equally as happy. And it's just because, you know, for me, if I'm honest, I'm not always used to feeling a lot of support and a lot of care. And although I want that, although I would desire that, I desire that, I still am taken aback when I actually receive it because I'm not in practice with that feeling. And we never talk about that, you know, when we say we want to feel safe and we want to feel loved, but if we're so used to feeling unsafe, we got to practice feeling, getting comfortable with those things that we actually want when we receive them, you know, you got to even check yourself when you're like, wait, I'm not allowing myself to embrace this because I feel uncomfortable and just kind of allow myself to acknowledge, you know, as you do in meditation, when you hear like the chatter in your mind, allow yourself to let it pass by you like a cloud. And that's okay to feel 
uncomfortable because you're getting used to the thing you actually desire and you gotta learn it. Like going to the gym for the first time may not feel like a whole lot of fun because your body's not used to moving like that. And then when you start doing it a lot and endorphins start kicking in, you're like, oh shit, I'm pumped. I love this. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but um, you never get to that feeling if you don't start just allowing yourself to kind of let those uncomfortable moments flow through when it's uncomfortable for your benefit and for your true want and your true desire. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. This is something that I'm thinking about um, and experiencing and working through for myself. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and thanks for listening and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great week.